What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down Day Tripper right now. Uh, also, if you're trying to get deeper into guitar, I have a bunch of courses that are free at my website. So uh, check all those links below. And also, if you haven't, I appreciate you subscribing here to the YouTube channel. So thank you for that. All right, let's break it down. All right, so this is an E7 lick. Starts with the open E, and then three, four. Pick each note. Then the second fret A. Then second fret D. Open D. Second fret A. Back to fourth fret D. Second fret A. Open D. Second fret D. The second riff is the exact same thing over a string. So that was over an E7. The next riff, an A7, and you just play right here. Everything the same as the first riff. Rhythmically over that, you have an E chord. And on the left speaker, think of it as an E major. Day tripper. That vocal melody is kind of in the rhythm guitar. And you're just adding that third fret B string right there to make it an E7. So, A7. Back to E7. Now, the what we could call the chorus, it's an F sharp 7. So that's second fret barred. E major shape with the pinky off. You could also add your pinky to that fifth fret B string just to em emphasize that seventh tone, that flat seven. So, day tripper, one way ticket, yeah. Then up to A7, so same chord but on the fifth fret. Half step down to G sharp. To find C sharp major, which is the A root fourth fret major, A major shape. Not a seven chord, just regular major. So that's C sharp major. I found B major. Same thing, a whole step down, second fret A root major. So the whole chorus F sharp seven. Stays on F sharp seven up to fifth fret, which is an A seven, G sharp seven, C sharp major, then B, then the riff.
it plays the riff up a whole step from A, so over the five, which is B. And so there's two different ways. With the open, which I think is how they're doing it. To me, it's definitely easier to go. It's all box. It's all in a box that way. So I'm just going to teach it to you that way. It's the same notes either way. So B power chord. And then I'm picking five, six on the A string. So B power chord. And also it's just played basically that same way as the other one. So, so four on the D, four on the G. Then down to the second fret. So fourth fret D. Second fret B, back to that fourth fret D. And then on the G, two, four. So. And they're they're singing over that five chord with their vocal harmony. So that B seven's building up, and it's mostly a vocal part. But you could do some licks over it. Um, there's definitely a sus four happening, and it's also moving along with the vocals. But you could. Um So it's just all on this. Start with the lower strings. Add that sus, which is the uh, ninth fret G. Build it up, but then hit that, get that B in there. And then you could add the tenth on the B to build it up into the lick. Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again, and I hope to see you real soon. Take care.